So this quick tip video shows you exactly how you can link your Flipgrid topics or grids with a particular team, which means it's really easy for students to access it. You can set them as assignments and it's all in one place. So I've got a couple of options. I can literally add a Flipgrid topic or grid to a, a tab within Microsoft Teams, or I can actually go to Flipgrid and share a particular topic or grid to Teams and to a Teams assignment from there. So I'm gonna show you both. So let's say we're starting in Teams for now, and we want to create a tab at the top that links directly to all the Flipgrid stuff that I'm doing with this class, okay? So go up to the top, click on the plus, and either I can search for Flipgrid or I can look for it in the list. Here it is, Flipgrid. Okay, I'm going to click Add. Now what I can do here is I can enter a join code or a flip code URL straight in there. So I go to my Flipgrid online, okay, and I find that particular either topic or grid that I want. I like called groups now, not grids anymore. So here's the, the group I want, okay, and I'm actually going to share that whole group because I want every time I add new topics, I want them to be available to that particular uh, that particular team. So I'm going to get that share thing there, and I'm going to copy that code from there, okay, and I'm going to go back to Teams, and I'm just going to paste that into there. All right, and I'm going to click Save. We're prompted to log in. Okay, and there is the Flipgrid. There we go, and I can see people's responses straight to it. I've got all the topics here. I can flick through the topics and see what's going on there. Okay, uh, you'll see the name is a bit uh, long-winded up here, but I can rename it by clicking at the top and clicking Save. All right, let's see that from the student's perspective. They've got a new tab at the top, as you can see here, called Flipgrid. They click on it. They'll log in. Click Accept. Okay, and there we go. They can, again, get straight into their Flipgrid there. Uh, and they can uh, click on the plus, and they can uh, record their Flipgrid videos directly within the Teams platform. So they don't need to go elsewhere, and it's all in one place, which is great. You also notice that on the posts area, that that has now been linked in there. The other option, like I said, is actually to go to Flipgrid itself, okay? And you'll notice that on any of these topics, uh, I can click the share button, and I've got a Teams button here, okay? If I click that Teams button, I will get a little window that pops up, and I'll be given some options. I either can share it to a channel, okay, this particular topic, uh, and I can write something here about it, or I can actually create an assignment directly. Okay, I can choose the class, give it a title, and some instructions, give them some points, how much am I gonna grade this out of, set the due date, that looks about right, and there's the, the link that will take them straight to this topic to complete. Click Assign. There we go, my assignment has been created. And again, looking at the student's perspective here, We'll now see that they've got a new Flipgrid task in their assignments. They view it, they'll have a link that will take them straight to complete that Flipgrid task.